To work a standing single crochet, I begin with a slip knot on my hook, and then I just work a single crochet into a piece of fabric that I've already started. So I insert my hook under the first two loops of the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. And there I have started with a standing single crochet. You can use a standing single crochet anytime you're going to join a new color or start a new yarn. Here I am ready to start a new color for the next row. Most patterns will tell you to finish the old row on the last two loops of a stitch by adding your new color and pulling through. And then you would turn to a chain one and begin your new row. But we don't really need that chain one. The chain one turning chain is used to bring your hook up to the level of the next row. But because the green and the pink don't really need to be connected in that way, I can just finish off my old color completely and turn and begin my new color with a standing single crochet. Put a slip knot on my hook and then just do a single crochet into the first stitch. There I have a perfectly good standing single crochet. There's no chain one attached to the green. It just stands up there all by itself. I do have a little bit of knot here right at the beginning where the slip knot was, but if I want later on I can go back and unpick that knot and weave in that end very carefully and I'll have a very tidy stitch at the beginning of my row.